Okay, we're going to get started with creating a basket. So you're going to need a weaving needle and a piece of yarn that is about the length of you or a little bit longer. And then you're going to need some bastri bastri basketry cord. Um, you're going to need some basketry cord, which is um, looks like this. Okay, at the end, you're going to come through and you're going to snip this so that you've created a diagonal opposed to straight across. You want a nice diagonal. Okay, and you're going to do that at both ends. So snip it. You're going to write your name on it. So you're going to take a piece of tape, masking tape, scotch tape, anything is fine. Put a little tab on here. You can see that little tab. And then write your name. Okay, so they're all going to look a lot alike at the beginning, so it's really important that we put our names on there. Okay, so this is going to be my end because I have a tab there. Okay, and then the cording, you're going to need a piece that is all the way to the ground, from the ground all the way to your hands. So if you're standing up all the way as high as you can go, like you're trying to reach the sky. Okay, so now we are going to pull out our needle and our yarn. And we're going to thread the needle. Okay, this is the eye of needle. This is the hole. This is our yarn. Okay. First thing you should do is twist and then pinch your hands all the way to the end. So you're squeezing that yarn in place. And I'm using my pincher fingers, so notice the placement. So pretend that I've made Pac-Man, and that's Pac-Man's tongue. Perfect that it's red. And there he goes. Okay, that's Pac-Man. Now what you're going to do is do that little Pac-Man. So get your needle here right in front of Pac-Man's mouth. And as I open my fingers like that, I'm going to push that thread through the eye of the needle, grab it from the other side, and then make a knot. So let's do that lying down. So here, make a circle and pull that yarn through so you have a knot. When you're sewing, you'll never sew a knot on the needle, but when you're weaving or making a basket weaving, you can do this. Okay, we're going to get ready. We're going to get our cording, and you want to make sure you're sitting in the correct place and having everything in the right spot. So I'm right-handed, so I'm going to put this cord on my left side, so I'm dropping all of this down to the ground on my left side, and I'm going to hold the cord in my left hand. Obviously, since you're seeing it in a movie, it's in reverse. Then you're going to take the, not the needle end, the other end, and you're going to put that on your right hand. Okay, so you have one on each side. And because the needle is tied on to your thread, you can let it sit around on the table. If it falls on the floor, it's okay, because it's knotted on. All right, so you're going to take these two pieces, and you're going to put one on top of the other. They're going in opposite directions. So look at this. They're going opposite places. So I'm going to put this on top, grab it with my left hand, and I'm going to start to wrap. I'm going to wrap as close as I can to the end without getting it to fall off. Okay, I'm going to back that up. I'm just going to repeat what we just did because it's a little bit confusing getting started. Okay, so again, you have your cord in your left hand. Okay, so maybe it's a little bit easier now that you're watching from the top instead of across from me. So left hand has the cord, right hand has the yarn. You're going to put them in opposite directions. One's going this way, one's going that way. Put one on top of the other. Grab it with your left hand, oh, leaving a little bit of the white cord showing. Okay, and now I'm going to start to wrap towards the end. It's okay if you have a little bit of space, a little bit showing here. Okay, and then go back. So I first wrap this way, and now I'm going to change directions. So I'm going to start wrapping that way, starting to cover up this extra piece here. It's going to get hidden inside the wrapping. Okay, so actually it's all the way covered. If it's not covered all the way right now, it's fine. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start to coil this. This is called a coil basket. So we're creating a spiral. So I'm going to turn this. Okay, on itself, so it kind of created like a U. Okay, sideways U. All right, hold that tight. 
and start to wrap again around both pieces. So on the ending of one and then starting to wrap over just this remaining piece. The big long cord. One, two. Okay, so it looks something like this. Still looks a little bit funny. So now I'd say you've stitched about ten times here, or you've wrapped about ten times. Um, or let's say maybe that's about an inch. Okay, so now you're going to spiral it again. So this is what it looks like. Okay, now you're going to take the end for the first time now that has the needle. You're going to grab your needle and you're going to come up through the middle of that hole and pull this through. Pull it tight. Go back around the outside of the full of the cord from the middle all the way around to the cord that's, no, that's not covered yet. So that's stitch two. And again around the outside. So that's two full stitches. Alright, so I'm going to release the spiral, hold on to the left hand or the left side cord with the left hand and then I'm going to wrap. Start to create a pattern. Eight, maybe ten stitches or ten wraps. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Spiral. Okay, get your needle. Needle comes up to the middle. And then make sure that this new piece is going right where you left off. It's in the next line, next row. So that's stitch one and stitch two. Pull it up. Again, get it tight. Pull tight. Okay, release the needle. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh oh. Ran out of yarn. So what am I going to do? Now I need to either cut off this needle or pull out the knot. So I'm just going to cut it off. Okay, and I'm going to use my new piece, new color or same color, just so you can see easily. I'm going to take a new color. All right, I'm going to take a few of these out here. I'm going to back it up so I have maybe two stitches. Okay, so take my new, my old color, and my cord, put them all in line. Grab it with your left hand. Okay, the new color is going to start to wrap right where I left off. So I had two stitches done, so one. Two, this is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Spiral and then sew with your needle. Okay, so I've wrapped and now we're going to sew with the needle. I have my needle on the green. Okay, I'm going to come up through the middle, pull through. So this is nice that I've used two different colors, so now you can start to see really what's going on here. You don't need to change your colors quite yet. But you can. So that's one stitch around the outside into the middle. Pull it up through the middle. This is two stitches. And again, release the spiral. Hold on to your cord only with your left hand. Weasel this in here. One, two, three. No white cord showing. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Spiral. Stitch. Okay, so this starts to change here. I don't want you going all the way across here to the middle. You are going to start going into the row that it's right next to. So that's stitch one and stitch two. Okay, I'm going to do one more wrap and one more stitch. And then you can repeat this over and over and over. Okay, so this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Spiral. Hold it. Grab your needle. Okay, and again, I'm not going to come all the way over here to the middle. I'm just going into the row that's right next to it. So this cord right here, this is where I'm going to go. So right into the row right next to it. So that's stitch one. That's stitch two. Starting to see a pattern here.